Hi everyone, I'm Jesus Ramirez. For my three minute max tip, I'm going to show you a little known Photoshop trick that will allow you to track all your edits for you. It's like creating a written step-by-step -step tutorial automatically. There might be a time when you need to keep a record of your edits for a client, legal purposes, or to simply remind you of the changes that you have applied to an image. As you may already know, Photoshop is always tracking your edits. You can see what Photoshop is tracking through the history panel under window and history. These are the edits that I've made to this file off camera. You can read each individual step here, but notice that there is not much specific information on the settings or options that were applied to those adjustments. It's just a list of generic descriptions. So if you ever want to track all the steps and settings that have been performed to an image, then what you can do is open the preferences panel by pressing control K on windows. That's command K and the Mac, then click on the history log tab and enable the history log by clicking on the checkbox. The history log is a textual history of the edits you have made to an image. In other words, Photoshop tracks all the changes that you make and saves them as a text file. Best of all, you can save the text information within the image itself in the metadata, save it to a text file, or both. In this case, I'm going to click on the text file option. The save as window will come up and I can give my text file a name and decide where to save it in my computer. Next, I will start making adjustments to the image. Well, the adjustments are not really important. I'm just gonna create a few adjustments so that you can see that Photoshop is tracking all this information. I'm just making these adjustments and I'm also gonna apply a filter. So I'll go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Again, the final look of the image is not important. I just wanted to track these changes. What I'm going to do now is bring up that folder and you'll see the Photoshop edit log here. I'm going to double click on it to open it and you'll see the adjustments that I made. New curves adjustment layer and you'll see the exact settings that I've applied and the same thing goes for the color balance adjustment layer and the Gaussian blur. So the history lag will save all the steps that you took automatically. That way you can always go back and reference the specific changes that you made to any Photoshop document. I hope that you enjoyed this tip and I hope that it helps you in your daily workflow. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.